What's going on, everybody? So, I have been asked before, I'm going to turn this other light on here, because um, I record a lot of these videos for myself, just to, for my general knowledge, onto the cards I'm submitting where I think they're going to grade at. And it's just so to keep, you know, me, my tools sharpened, you know, when I'm looking stuff over and everything. But I'll tell you, I barely, rarely will ever call a card a 10. So, mostly I will say nines or eights or whatever it may be, but I hardly ever will say the word ten on a card. Because it's it's hard to get. Regardless of the PSA pop count out there, anything can go wrong, I can miss something. I mean, I can say it's a strong possibility of being a ten, but I've very rarely ever said ten. I probably can tell you that. So, I got nine cards this next submission. I gotta get Joey's stuff uh, done here in a sec in the next, but... Uh, this all goes out Monday, so you guys would have seen this, maybe. I don't know when I'm putting a video out now, but anyhow, I picked this up, looked it over pretty well at the show. This is going to be part of a set that I've been building for a while. If it, depending on the grade, depends if it's going to upgrade or not, but the patch on this one's better than mine, and it is out of 150, the Merino. So... I looked this over. I called it an 8. I say it's going to be an 8 and a solid 8 at that. I don't think we'll hit the 9, which if it has a very, very slim chance, if it hits a 9, it's a big upgrade for me. If it comes back an 8 on to it, you know, I'm fine with that offhand. It's not going to be the end of the world to me. But stuff like this is just, in my own opinion, needs to be put into a PSA case before people start digging more corners up and everything onto it. That's a really nice centerpiece. Mr. Joe Montana. I also said this was going to come back. We are talking about a thicker bait, stock base. Now, this is actually thinner because it's not a patch inside here. You guys can see I have the tabs on this. And this here, I put the uh, sticky note in to help them get that stuff out. But I looked it over. I almost wanted to call it a 9, but I said, you know, when I start doing these thicker things from, uh, you know, 15, 20 plus years ago. Then, well, this is 2004, so it's definitely almost 20 years ago. I'm going to just go with the 8 because I don't want to disappoint myself. This Wander Franco. Uh, one, okay, when I was looking, one of these corners, I think it was this one. There's just how this line's come down. There's a little bit black up here. But I think it was this corner here I saw. Now, again, remember, I use the magnification of 20 where PSA uses 10. A little bit white down here. I went ahead and just called it a 9. If it comes back at 10, woohoo, I will be happy. But I think it's a good solid 9 on this card. Next up, Brett Favre. This is out of 10. A lot of people would probably question when I start saying what I've seen wrong with this card, why I'm grading it. But I saw a little bit of whiting here and on top here. Dark green border never helps. or hurt. Or yeah, really helps you out. It just hurts you. There's a little bit of white down here. But being out of 10... Show you guys. There you go. I figured what the heck. You know, I there's a white up here in the back corners. Um, I figure I'm going to go ahead and get this graded. I'm in very little on this card for what the value is. If they would be generous to give me a nine, it's, you know, money. If it comes back at eight, I'll make like maybe 20 bucks on the card. But to me, another card that I'm just going to get it slab because it's easier to move that way for me. Now, this car here, I have really doubts that I'm going to end up getting rid of this. I may. I don't know. I mean, somebody gives me the prices right on. I can't say no. I, I really looked this over real well. My heart's telling me eight, but when I looked at it, it was a real good possibility of being a nine on it. This was from, oh, oh, three, oh, four. And it's a trilogy. It's an older card. And I'm more mostly worried was the corners on this. They looked sharp, but there looked to be a little bit of whiting on them. So with these types of cards, especially this edge, it goes along this cut in here was my biggest concern. I've never done well on that, so I just called it an 8 as well, too. In very little on this card to where an 8, I still make a little bit of money on it. If I decide to sell it. 
Jordan, everybody remember this card? I picked it up at the show. I think it was 35 I paid for this. Now, the only thing I caught on this, Jordan, was some white up here, which I knew was at the show to begin with. I looked at what nines were selling on this, and I said I would be a fool not to get this. I do own this card already in a 10, but to get it great and it comes back a 9, I could either trade it or sell it and get into something else that I want to get into. So I really like these Hall of Fames from back in the day. Really beautiful cards. I want to say this was 99-2000. Yep, 99-2000. I haven't even put these in the sheets yet. I just have to think off of my top of my head. I will tell you there was a, a thing of, like, dust on top of this, which I had to clean off. Uh, you know, just breathe on it, get your lens cloth out, just like you would do on a pair of sunglasses or something. It comes right out. Dwayne Wade picked this up. I used Do Dilly on this, and I'm in the boundaries of under a 60-40 on this, barely. So we're going to see how well their stuff is on to off the demonstration with this card here. It was crisp. There was no divots or marks on the front of it. Very clean. The back, the centering, yeah. Um, nines were doing very well onto this. I figured I probably, if I would have had to guess a 10 on all this, it would probably be between this and the Frank, uh, Franco. Uh, but I would probably be more leaning towards this card than anything. But I went with a solid 9. Sorry, guys, UFC's on. I'm making sure it doesn't, like, kick on with the volume on anybody. Pick this up. Upper deck glass, Kobe. Now, this is, you have the regular plexiglasses in this, and then you have the crystals. From what I remember, the crystals were the ones numbered out of 100. And I looked it up, and I think I'm right on this. Uh, PSA will correct me if I'm wrong. I, by looking at this, I still think it's going to be an 8 on to it. Um, if you look down here at the bottom, you kind of see where the white's kind of coming off of it down there a little bit. I don't know. They might ding it down to a seven even onto it, but this here, I just like this error onto it. A seven. Yeah, it would be unfortunate if it does come back to it. I'm really leaning. Hopefully it's going to get the eight onto it, but we'll see. We'll see. Finally, Trevor Lawrence. On this card here, I did find a couple of divots onto it, dimples, whatever you want to say, onto it. Ooh. I, I'm going with a 9 onto it. Possibility, maybe 10, depending on what they give on this onto me, really. Didn't see any corner issues, of course, being a newer card. Somebody hurry up, stuck it into a top loader type deal. They didn't jam it. But overall, I mean, if the grades came back the way that I predicted them, being 9s and 8s, with a $50 submission, and if I would sell this outright at 10% off of eBay to show, basically, I was still up. I want to say it was, I don't have the scratch paper, I think it was $315, which is still a profit. It's not a whole lot, and that's why a lot of people are like, oh, man, you're only making $315. But if I do that every week for a year, that's a good chunk of change. Plus, like I said, some of the stuff I'm going to be holding anyhow for my own collections because I keep my registry set private on uh, PSA. But I, I figured I'd share this one for once out there. Uh, I do these all the time. People just ask me if I never do stuff like this. I do them just for myself. But I have no problem sharing what my thoughts are on these before they go in. And a lot of times I am a lot harder on the cards that I select to go in than what they are. Sometimes I, I I mean there's I would probably say nine times out of ten I'm harder on them. And then there's that one card where it comes back and I'm like, man, I thought this was a nine and got an eight, and then I start looking it over. I'm like, man, I missed this somehow. So it is what it is, long run on to it. All right, everybody, take care of a good one. Catch y'all next video.